Well everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Flip 6 and compare it against the iPhone 15 Pro and see which particular phone is the better one for you. Now, the first thing I would definitely tell you is, is that between both these devices, they're both very interesting. They're both like around $1,000, a little bit more than $1,000 depending on the model. And I will definitely tell you, I like both these phones. You know, they're both very, very good. I just don't know if there's a phone that I would recommend. You know, I, I feel like the iPhone 15 Pro might be the better one. But we'll take a look throughout this whole entire video, see which one is the better one for you. If you have any thoughts or if you want to pick up the Samsung Galaxy Flip 6 or the iPhone 15 Pro, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of the Samsung Galaxy Flip 6 and the 15 Pro, the 15 Pro came out late last year and it's still a very good looking phone. You know, this phone on the front has a 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display. It's an LTPO Super Retina XDR OLED display. And I feel like it's a very good looking phone. It's a very good looking panel as well. The thing that I love about these types of phones is that they look very good. They're 120 Hertz ProMotion displays. And I definitely do feel like if you're going to go and buy a phone, a phone like the iPhone 15 Pro, I think is doing a really good job at kind of giving us like things and exactly what we want. And I do feel like with the 15 Pro, the panel itself is very nice. You still have the dynamic island, which can be kind of annoying for some people. I know for me, I wish it didn't have it, but you know, what are you going to do? But it is just one of those things. It just kind of comes with the territory with these types of phones. But I do like the Samsung Galaxy Flip 6 and the Galaxies in general. But the 15 Pro still has a very good looking panel. On the Samsung Galaxy Flip 6, on the other hand, we have like two different types of panels that are going on here. So with the Flip 6, you basically are getting a phone that's going to be giving you two different types of devices. So basically what this is, is that you're getting a 6.7 inch, you know, foldable dynamic LTPO AMOLED display. That's kind of the main panel. But then you're also getting on the front a 3.4 inch cover display, which is a super AMOLED display. So it is actually very nice that you're getting those two types of displays on the, you know, the Galaxy Flip 6. The thing you have to keep in mind with the Flip 6 is that this is a foldable phone. So this phone does not just come, you know, out of the box, you know, I mean, comes out of the box, you know, unfolded, but you have to fold it and unfold it if you really want to do that. You can always keep it open if you want to, but I probably would recommend folding it, putting it in your pocket. That might be better. So it is an interesting mechanism because it doesn't flip and fold like a normal phone, like a flip phone back in the day. It flips and folds very like strategically, like kind of hard. So you can't just like accidentally close it or open it if it's open, to be honest. But both phones are great. The main panel on the 6.7 inch one is very good. I will say though, I feel like the 15 Pro's panel is better, but they're different type of technologies for the most part. Both have USB type C ports on the bottom, which is very good. On the sides, pretty much like flat sides on both. And on the back side, you're basically getting this, you know, kind of interesting back on both. So the 15 Pro is a frosted glass back with a triple camera setup and a LiDAR sensor. With the Samsung Galaxy Flip 6, this phone is a little bit different because you are basically getting that type of, you know, like a frosted glass back on some, but you know, a kind of a, you know, carbon fiber feeling on some other ones. Mine has carbon fiber in it and both are great. You know, both look really, really good. Not too much to complain about there, but I feel like practically, right? If I'm going to hold one and pick one up, you know, in my hand, I feel like a phone like the iPhone 15 Pro might be a little bit of a better phone for the average person. Like that one in my head means like strategically, it just seems more like a phone that I would recommend to people to buy rather than something like the iPhone, rather than something like the Galaxy Flip 6. I feel, I feel like the Flip 6 is a good phone and everything like that, but having to constantly go through and like, you know, kind of like flip the phone and unflip the phone, it can be kind of an annoying thing for some people. So again, not the most annoying thing in the world, but just one of those small things to kind of keep in mind there. So on that side, that kind of covers it up there for the most part. Now, in terms of the camera side, you're basically getting a triple camera setup inside of the iPhone 15 Pro, whereas on the Galaxy Flip 6, you're basically getting this dual camera setup. So this right there is another very big difference because in my personal opinion, as you probably would have guessed it, I kind of do feel like the iPhone 15 Pro is going to be giving you the overall better type of phone in almost every single way than the Galaxy Flip 6. So here's the way this kind of stuff goes. On the Samsung Galaxy Flip 6, with it having a dual camera setup, when you're buying a phone like this, you're not buying it because of its camera or because of its display or because of its, you know, anything else. You're kind of buying the folding mechanism for this phone, right? There's cheaper phones out there that give you the same internals, probably better internals like the Galaxy S24 that are cheaper than this phone, but those phones don't flip. This phone flips, so that's kind of what you're paying for. Just keep that in mind. So the camera here, 4K at 60 on the front and the back, it's a good camera, but it's not breaking any records. Nobody's going to say it's the best camera of this year, and that's kind of what ends up happening. 
On the iPhone 15 Pro, on the other hand, this camera is very good. Although you're still getting 4K60 on the front and the back, it's an overall better camera. It's the camera I've been using on an everyday basis, and I genuinely do feel like a phone like the iPhone 15 Pro camera is in one of the contenders of being one of the best cameras of this year, even though it came out last year. Like it's a very good quality phone, very solid in almost every single way. And that is the phone again that I'd look at as probably being the one I'd recommend to a vast majority of people. So I love my iPhone 15 Pro. I definitely do think that's a very good camera. And that kind of is the better camera that I'd recommend buying here over something like the Galaxy Flip 6. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there as well. Now, on top of that, between both these devices, another big thing to kind of keep in mind here too, is that with a device like the Galaxy Flip 6, Samsung has said that they are going to be supporting these types of phones for a longer duration of time in terms of software. So this is massive news. Being able to go through and pick up a phone that's going to be giving you long software updates like this is a very, very cool thing. And that is basically what's going on once again when you're buying this type of phone. So with the phone like the Samsung Galaxy Flip 6, you're going to be getting a long software update, which is amazing. The big thing to keep in mind here, though, is that with something like the iPhone 15 Pro, this phone is also going to be lasting for quite a bit of time as well. So on a device like the Flip 6 and the 15 Pro, I would say these phones are probably going to last roughly around the same time. I think there might be a higher likelihood where the iPhone 15 Pro might end up lasting longer. But both these phones are going to be lasting for quite a bit of time for, you know, a long software you know, support, you know, in front of them. So I think that's a very, very nice thing going on for both these phones when it comes down to it. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there as well. Now, on top of that, another big thing to keep in mind here, too, is with their performance. So with the iPhone 15 Pro inside of it, you're basically getting the Apple A17 Pro chip inside, which is great, with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Whereas on the Galaxy Flip 6, you're basically getting the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip set inside with 12 gigabytes of RAM. So this right there is another very interesting thing going on here, too, because overall, from what we know, the performance inside of a phone like both are great, and they're a little bit different. Like, I feel like with the iPhone 15 Pro, this is a very, very good performing phone, right? I've been using this phone on an everyday basis, and the performance I've had with it, it has been amazing, right? I haven't had too many issues with this type of phone for the most part. Whereas on the Samsung Galaxy Flip 6, this phone is also very, very good. Like, this is an excellent performing device, and that is another very cool thing going on for this phone as well. Like, if you're wanting to go through and pick up a phone, I definitely do think a phone like the Flip 6 is, Flip 6 is going to be giving you a really good experience, which again is something that's really, really cool. But I don't know if there's one that's like the best one in every single case. Like, I feel like a phone like the Samsung Galaxy Flip 6 is great, but the iPhone 15 Pro is also very, very good as well. So from a performance side, I think they're both the same. I probably wouldn't go from one to the other based on the performance. So in terms of everything, what I'll definitely tell you is the most practical phone I could recommend here, probably for the average person, is a phone like the, you know, iPhone 15 Pro. This is a phone that's basically giving you just overall better experience, I would probably say. And it's going to just, you don't have to worry about the folding thing. And it's a cheaper phone now than the, you know, Flip 6. So I'd probably recommend just buying something like the, you know, iPhone 15 Pro in this case, rather than the Flip 6. But I still think the Flip 6 is a great phone. I think it's a good phone. I just think it's kind of overpriced for what you're getting. And it just doesn't make a lot of sense to buy a phone like that when you can buy a phone like the, you know, iPhone 15 Pro for cheaper. So that's kind of what makes a lot more sense for me. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Solden.